So, Dr. Bilski, you take an x-ray of a patient, you put it up on your, well, it's already up on the screen now, um, mm -hmm. and yep. you do what? What are you looking for? What exactly, what's the process? Yeah, that, that's a good question. Um, Just little black smudges? So, if you want to get into the nerdy details of this. Please. <laughs> um, radiography. Ah. And because I don't like to use big words, I like to say things like pictures. All cool. Right? Cool. Pictures. So... Just as we're looking at the screen, we see pixels. Yes. So in, in uh, radiology, it's pixels or voxels, all right? So what that means is x-rays, we're looking at different gradations from black grays to whites. Mm -hmm. And if we could get a computer program that can help us like an AI and then our monitor. So in our practice, um, on the main stuff that I look at, we use gaming monitors because of the speed and the, the pixels and the voxels and the things that we can uh, really concentrate on. So that gives us a better look. So as dentists, we're trained to know what normal looks like. Okay. All right. Then we're looking through our screen or our monitors and we see something that doesn't look normal. That's what we're looking for. So um, the format that Randy has developed for he and I, when we do these uh, uh, recordings is that this was a good one. I really, and, and I really am passionate about this and uh, my wife will shake her head and along with my children and how nerdy I can be on this, but this is what I do. I've done a long time. So you prepared a list so to answer this. this I, I did. So it's not that I don't know these things. I just want to make sure I, I cover everything because there's somebody out there. So, that, so there, well, there's a lot you're looking for then or a lot that you're looking oh, to can go wrong. that yeah. won't look right. The the simple stuff is like, you know, cavities. That's, that's easy. So that's number one, tooth decay. Um, the root health, like what's going on with the root? One, is it completely formed? Two, is there an infection on there? Three, is it crooked? By the way, is it crossed over on another tooth? So, you know, that's that's what we're looking for. That's not normal if that happens. So, um, bone loss around teeth. Mm -hmm. So we could take what's called a bite wing. We could take a periapical. We could take uh, a panoramic, and then we can take the most accurate one that I like to use a lot, which we'll talk about later, is called a, a CBCT. And that is kind of like a CAT scan, CAT scan that goes 360. So the example yeah. of that is, you know, and play with me here. So how many fingers do you see here? I see two. So, but if we do 360. I see three. As, you, as it see. goes around, you're seeing my thumb and the two fingers, which is not a thumb, is not a finger, but we're going to call it yeah. three yeah. fingers. Well, so what's it on that one? you nailed that one. So um, alignment we talked about, are there any abnormalities? Are there any cysts? Are there extra teeth that are in there? Um, tumors, abscesses, uh, Changes in the bone or the root canals, you know, resulting from infection. Like we have what's called external and internal resorption of teeth. That means it's dissolving itself because of the acidic environment or an injury that occurred. We want to find that stuff out. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, conditions of our jaw joints, TMJ. We've what is that? What is Temporal mandibular joint dysfunction. Well, yes, naturally every day. So it's right here. You know, if you have headaches, migraines, clicking yeah. jaw. I can't open my mouth. I have locked jaw is another a, a term you may have heard. Um, also sinus conditions. Sometimes the, the roots are in the sinuses. There's an infection. If we're looking for positions of dental implants that were recently placed, we want to see if it's far enough away from the sinus, not in the sinus. Um, we want to look to see what we're going to do if you need braces. That's important. The alignment of the teeth. Is there anything missing? You know, not only what's there, what's missing. Uh, okay. So. Uh, and then if you had any pathologies, that's disease. You could have osteomyelitis. You could have some type of cancer. And something will show up. You could have a cyst, yeah, for I'm sure. An x-ray with that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, well, certain types, you know. We yeah, would, yeah, sure. We, sure. Um, I like back to the CBCT. It's called a cone beam, computer, tech, uh, computer tomography, so that we can see all the 360 degrees. It's called the microanatomy. So we're not missing that. Um, and then trauma, you got hit in the face with something, you tripped and fell, you were in a car accident. We have to see if there's any fracture of the jaws, teeth, any disturbances in the nerves. It's helpful. And then just normal is your kid developing. You know, I see a six year old, you take a panoramic picture, which gives us the big picture. And it seems like there's a hundred teeth in there. Well, you better start counting because if there are a hundred teeth in there, that's an abnormality. You, that That's actually a condition where people have more teeth than they are yes. supposed to. Really? Yes. But what do you do? You have to just start pulling them? Well, or what? You, you just wait for the development of the teeth to come through. And, it, okay. and as they're popping up, you're, 
you're determining which teeth you want to take out, okay. which ones you want to save. Yeah. And, you know, that's a specialty work for sure. You know, we get to the orthodontist, probably the oral surgeon. Um, it's, a, it's a team approach for certain. So those are all the things that dentists are looking at when we're observing our patients. So there's always been a pushback. Doc, do I really need these x-rays? Well, if I've never seen you ever, yeah. yes is the answer. Yeah, it makes sense that, eh? Yeah, do you have current from your other dental practice? Usually no. And then it's the discussion like, well, um, without being too dramatic, like, you know, my hands are tied. And what, what would you like me to do, Randy? Yeah. Uh, I get it. You look okay when I look at you. So instead of having an argument with my patient, I'm going to say, hey, Randy, look, let's, the cleaning's fine. You're not in pains right now. You're a young man. How about if we talk about this next time? But I'm strongly going to suggest that we get your, your x-rays. Hey, can I ask this? How often should x-rays be that? Like once a year, what? every time you yeah, go in? So what? everyone's different. Like we have patients that, um, uh, that the easy one is uh, the young kid that we talked about that may have a cavity or two. Yeah. And picture a hard boiled egg, the cavity is only in the shell, in the enamel. So any brushes and flosses or she brushes and flosses very well, it's one area. So I might see that person uh, six months later take another x-ray, still there, it hasn't progressed. But what patients don't understand is that on those little x-rays that we take, they kind of pinch you sometimes when we, we put them in there. They're, they only give us 55, 55%, 55% of the details. The other side of looking at it is we don't know the other 45% information. Mm -hmm. And if you have a toothache and it's not showing anything like an infection or no swelling, probably recommend a cone beam, which is the 360 degree to get okay. that microanatomy, which shows up, yeah. you can see it. And it has a lot to do with bone densities. Um, you know, larger men, uh, you know, Cleveland Browns offensive linemen will have a thicker uh, bone density than my wife who is a, is a five foot tall little gal cheerleader. Okay. It's a totally different human yeah. being, so. All specific. Okay. Well, you, you can learn a lot from an X-ray, huh? More than more than you would actually. And it's not always because you know what you're looking for, but look what if you're looking for what shouldn't be there. I guess is it you, as you put it. What's, what's if it looks good? It looks natural or normal. Then it's great. You're great. Okay. If, if you're missing something, that's not good. If you have too many, that's not good. And then what other abnormalities or infections? So stop in for picture day at yeah. uh, Bilski Dental. Bilski Dental. Bilski Dental. I'm not going to retake that. Stop in for picture day at <laughs> Bilski Dental. There we go. <laughs>